Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how I made the super cute best friends necklace cake. Let's see if I can lift it. <laughs> All right, whatever, whatever. I first, I baked two strawberry cakes in my awesome heart-shaped pans and I filled them with Swiss meringue buttercream and fresh strawberries. Yummy, yummy, yummy. I then covered the whole thing in buttercream and I put it in the fridge. Once it was nice and cool, I used a very sharp knife and I kept the, tried really hard keeping the knife at a right angle to cut this cake in half in a fun way. And of course, crumb coat it again and put it back in the fridge. Okay, so to get ready to make this cake, I am going to prepare a board, which I already have it, you guys need one. And I have a little bit of the fondant that I'm going to use to cover the whole thing and some 22 gauge wire. I do recommend using a wire thick enough. We're gonna make an arch and then another one. And then I'm gonna roll out my fondant and put the wire, stick the wire right in the middle and make two little arches. That's it. Those will be my hooks or loops for the necklace. Okay. Here's a really helpful hint. The cake should be super cold before you put the fondant on it. So I have it in the fridge and I'm gonna get it. All right, here's the sweetest tip for today. Get your edges ASAP. Uh, as soon as you put that fondant over your cake, quickly shape your sharp edges so that the cake doesn't have a chance to poke through the fondant and the fondant doesn't have a chance to crack. And another sweet tip is cut the excess fondant to make the smoothing of the bottom part easier, but do not close cut to close. If you do, then you will end up with a gap between the board and the fondant, which means exposed cake, and that's not good. So now I'm going to attach the pre-made little hoops or arches with some edible glue. Okay, I mean, seriously, look how, how adorable does this look. And now you guys have a choice. You can either copy me, I'm going to use my super fun clay extruder, and I'm using that tip. It looks like a three leaf clover. Or if you don't have this and you wanna make it easier, you can use a piece of yarn, a piece of rope, anything that will look like a necklace. So we're gonna thread it through here. Let's do it. All right, this actually really hurts my hands. All right, here's the other tip. We gotta twist it. One hand goes one way, the other hand goes the other way. And that's gonna create our rope effect. And now I'm going to thread my rope while it's nice and fresh through the loop and not give it a chance to dry out. I'm gonna put a little bit of glue on the bottom so that it sticks to the board. And now I'm gonna do this all over again for the second one. Making sure, let's make sure that the rope looks really pretty and is purposely placed on the board. And now I get my red fondant now because I love the combination of red and pink and I'm going to cut my letters out. And yes, I added this part in because I had forgotten to glue them, but you can see I did this late at night and there they are, I'm gluing them. Better late than never. Okay, this is it, the best friend's necklace cake. Yes, I glued the letters now, and I think this cake looks adorable. You can give one to your bestie, eat the other one yourself. You can put just one on the board and go drop it off, or you can have two on the board. Either way, this was actually a pretty easy cake to do, so I definitely recommend giving this one a try. And I would love to hear from you. I would love to hear if you actually did try it. What did you think? Um, if you wanna see me try anything else, 
let me know. Leave me a comment and I will try to get back to you. And please don't forget, if you haven't done so yet, subscribe to my channel, share my video, hit that thumbs up, and stay tuned next week. I will see you guys again. Bye.